everyone, it's Christine here. So we're going to do some more in my Sweet Bird Diary Journal. So we're working on the third signature. So did that flip. Oh yes, now. I'll put that in here to remind me what I needed to do. Um, so I found this just light blue washi and I want to just do a little bit of washi down this edge. Finishes that edge off. This was that envelope, and um, I had quite a bit of glue, glue there. So I think I want to also put some here. Just bring that down to there. Okay. Yep. Good. And I will um, put a little closure um, on this. So, not sure yet. What I want to use. I do like the idea. Maybe I'll use a different colour. I'm just thinking of um, like maybe stacking. Oh, what about that? Let me just grab my hole punch. And size. I think. Yeah, let's go for this. That one and do I need two? No, I just need one. Now I want to um, make this a lot stronger, so I'm going to put it on some book page. Let me grab some book page. I want to make it a bit thicker as well. I've made, um, what have I made? What size is that? I've made one inch um, buttons before and I'll link that video um, in the description box and you virtually, you just stack. Um, I might just do another, another two. Just move this off and it's just a matter of gluing and stacking so and 
then gluing and stacking. So they end up becoming quite strong. And when they dry, they become hard. So um, it's definitely a great little technique. And you can use up scraps for this. So all your um, one and a half or two inch scraps that you've got. Just make buttons because um, they look absolutely awesome in journals. Okay, so that's quite, that's going to dry quite hard. And I'm going to put this one on the, on the top. So you can do whatever thickness you like. And we've just got to get that dried before I put the two um, holes in it. So let's put that over there so that can just dry. Just get that white. dry okay let's get back to our page so that's what we're going to do for that envelope where is that that's this one so when this dries and I put the two holes or you can put the two holes in I think I will and I'm going to um, and put a little bit of a string in there like a bow and then I'll just attach it with glue just in this bottom part. So then this will, you can take the um, envelope flip out and put it back in. So that's, that's what I'm working on. So we'll just put that aside because it's very like bendy because it's just, it's wet. So now this one i love this and i love the flower it fits in with this um just not sure might do a belly band actually now do i want to do a long one or one through the middle um thinking thinking using a ruffle just something different um, through the middle there or if I did it across there that's beautiful too and that just fits in all those colors I might have to um, I'm going to do that okay so sorry about that I just had to um, stop the video because um, I had a phone call but um, now with this I'm going to do a belly band across um, isn't that so gorgeous now oh, I'm wondering whether I need to um, stick this down on something to make it sturdier or we just leave it I might just leave it. I'm going to cut it through there. Because I, I don't think I'll be putting anything heavy on it. Get this 
this open now. sure this glue goes very stringy and um, I just need to make sure that I don't have glue um, all the way underneath that hole I've got it on top here okay That'll be right. It's very, very good glue. So it's permanent and it sticks down very well. Okay, so that's um, the button there and this belly band. Isn't that so gorgeous? Really lovely. Oops, so I've gone two pages over. So I think I would like... Something on this page. How many pockets have we got in here? Not many, actually. So let's do a pocket. We can do a pocket there. like that idea there is this one that's nice too might actually do that yep right, just move this aside and let me get the what size we want first turning that over so that we've got a bit of support there at the start of the pocket in it right and we will just glue that down like that so let's see if this is not blocked. Hopefully it's not. Good. That's good. Putting some along that bottom there. Oops, something blocked in there.
something like that. Yeah, so we can still see the horse and the, that little sign. And this yellow goes in here and we've got the different coloured greens in there. So that'll be good. Let's just check our button. Yeah, that still needs time to dry. So it might be the next video that we end up putting that, that button on. Okay, so that's pockets there. And... I'm thinking I need something, definitely need something on here. Might end up putting, so we've got, see if I've got some, what have we done so far? So I've got done the Arctic blue in that. something different might do lace on this and I might do it on this other side so let me just get the measurement and we'll put it on this side that side let's have a look Hopefully I've got the screen. Yep. That side, which is beautiful. Or that side. Both are beautiful. So I, yeah, I'll do it the other side. So I'll just put a bead of glue down here. going along right along that edge and then put this down right along there and I can trim that edge off Once it dries yeah that looks good it needed something right so that can dry this page I'm going to leave like that I think that's absolutely gorgeous it's got the font it's got the two different fonts it's got the colors just really neutral and great for journaling on and I think this one is the same. It's going to stay like that. Um, this is going to stay like that. I love that. The colours, um, the picture. Yeah, that's really gorgeous. That's going to stay the same. We need to do something with this. So... What have we got? I'm thinking um, maybe a, a page wrap with two side pockets, which would be good. And I'm thinking it's got the pink in it it's got the yellow it's got the blue it's got the butterflies let's see what other papers we've got scraps 
Oh, these might be a little bit better. Let's have a look at this one. And this one. Oops. Brought all sorts along with that. Hmm. This sort of drowns out, doesn't it? It does need to be brighter. I'm just trying to find it. It's um, this one here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Okay. Right, I've just got to take those edges off first. Just get these white edges off. That's really cute. So I'll just get this height. for something else right let's see I just want to just put that much over on that side yeah Just on that first dot. That is so cute. That paper. And then we're just going to want to. want to keep that ladybird and then we want a, a little bit of a fold okay so then we've got it looks like this, so it's going to hug around that page and we're going to put it on the page like that. Might just straighten this page up. So 
that's how it's going to look. I'll notch out that side and that side, and then that will be the little, little side tuck. So let's glue these little edges down. And they're actually going to be just slightly different sizes because I've made it to what's on the page um, to those pictures. So I will, however, just pull those two edges together without um, flattening. I just want the edges together and I'll just... Uh, it, no, I can't do that. Run out of room. Let me try again. The reason I want to pull the edges together is to do the notches so that they are on the same. Yeah, as long as I put my finger on that side, I've got enough room. Then they're the same. Yeah, like that even though the pockets are slightly different on either side. Yep, that's better. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to glue down one side. Must have something in, I must have a little blob of glue in the yeah that doesn't wanna poke the pin through yeah there was a bit of a blob in there getting caught up glue under here because that's um, oh, still blocked. All right. Okay, so I'll use my big big glue. Hopefully this will work. I'll put one down the middle there. Bit of a seam. And then fold that over. That's that side done. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. And then we've just got this side. That I'm just going to put glue along the top. Carefully. I don't want a thick bead, so I'm trying to get a real skinny bead out. There, and then press that down. Okay. That's that done. And that is really cute. I love that. So let's get a bit of paper. So as you can see, it's a little side tuck there and a side tuck there. Right. So I think I'm going to leave that at that. Um, we've just got this to finish off and that still needs time to dry. So this is something you can definitely make in bulk. You can make just all the um, book page buttons up first and um, then you've got them ready to just add a piece on the top and then um, use them in your journal and any type of journal as well. Um, I don't think I've got any up here. 
These are ones that I've bulk made before and there's, they're only about two or three layers. Oh, this one. This one's about um, six layers and you can see I've inked the edges and I've already put the holes in. I don't think I've got any decorated. Let me have a look. Oh, yeah, I have. So this one I stamped on it. So, so that's ready to use. And this one, that's ready to use. That's inked up, ready to use. Same as those. So definitely you can bulk make and um, have them ready for your project. So they're very, very cute. So, okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, please stay safe and well, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.